After Woodrow Wilson had been elected president on a pledge that he would not go to war, uh, the United States declared war and entered the sort of slaughterhouse going on in Europe. Socialists opposed this. The socialist leader, Eugene Debs, in uh, June of 1918, made a speech in Canton, Ohio, uh, ab about the war. He was uh, sent to prison uh, for 10 years, uh, approved by a unanimous Supreme Court. This is the speech that led to his imprisonment. Sam Johnson declared that patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel. He must have had the Wall Street gentry in mind, <laughs> or at least their prototypes, for in every age it has been the tyrant, the oppressor, and the exploiter who has wrapped himself in the cloak of patriotism or religion or both to deceive and overawe the people. Every solitary one of these aristocratic co co conspirators and would-be murderers claims to be an arch-patriot. Every one of them insists that the war is being waged to make the world safe for democracy. <laughs> what humbug. <laughs> what rot. What false pretense. Wars throughout history have been waged for conquest and plunder. In the Middle Ages, where the feudal lords concluded to enlarge their domains, to increase their power, their prestige, and their wealth, they declared war upon one another. But they themselves did not go to war any more than the modern feudal lords, the barons of Wall Street, go to war. The feudal barons of the Middle Ages, the economic predecessors of the capitalists of our day, declared all wars, and their miserable serfs fought all the battles. The poor, ignorant serfs had been taught to revere their masters, to believe that when their masters declared war upon one another, it was their patriotic duty to fall upon one another and to cut one another's throats for the profit and the glory of the lords and barons who held them in contempt. And that is war in a nutshell. The master class has always declared the wars. The subject class has always fought the battles. The master class had everything to gain and nothing to lose, while the subject class has had nothing to gain and everything to lose, especially their lives. They have always taught you and trained you to believe it to be your patriotic duty to go to war and to have yourself slaughtered at their command. But in all the history of the world, the people have never had a voice in declaring war. And strange as it certainly appears, no war by any nation in any age has ever been declared by the people. The working class who fight all the battles, the working class who make the supreme sacrifices, the working class who freely shed their blood and furnish the corpses, have never yet had a voice in either declaring war or making peace. It is the ruling class that invariably does both. They alone declare war and they alone make peace. Yours not to reason why, yours just to do or die. That is their motto and we object on the part of the awakening workers of this nation. If war is right, let it be declared by the people. <laughs>